My name is Monica Lynch and I am the co-curator along with Cassandra Hatton of the Sotheby's Hip Hop Auction, The Art and Influence of Hip Hop. You want to uh, go to the Bismarck Key? Shearling. I'm also the former president of Tommy Boy. A hip hop has been who's been trying to find her way into the curatorial world through the hip hop auctions here at Sotheby's. The most iconic photo of, of Doom wearing his mask, which was designed and made by another great artist named Keo X-Men, who is a graffiti artist, uh, and he's been around for many, many decades. And so it's a combination of Doom and Keo X-Men and Eric Coleman. This is actually a, a piece of concept art that was done for the Beastie Boys License to Ill album cover. This was done by uh, an artist named David Gambale, AKA World B. Ohms. You can see that's a study for what would be the, the album cover itself. We're looking at a, uh, an amazing print done by photographer Danny Hastings. The cover image from Nas's album, I Am, circa 99. And you can see the Egyptian influence. What we're looking at here, I think is one of my favorite lots in the entire sale. This is the personal hip-hop flyer collection from DJ Jazzy J. He started out very early uh, as a protege to Africa Bambada. He co-founded Def Jam, actually, with Rick Rubin. There is a very dedicated uh, group of folks who collect hip-hop flyers, and they're very competitive, and they really know much, much more about flyers than I will ever, ever know. You know, hip-hop is approaching its 50th uh, anniversary. Collecting is an interesting thing. There's always sort of a fine line between collecting and hoarding, and I've found that in the course of contacting artists and, and people who have worked with artists, that sometimes uh, the artists themselves are not necessarily the best keepers of their own uh, legacy in terms of physical objects because things get lost or storage units uh, go missing. A lot of them were meant as sort of ephemeral uh, pieces like you know flyers or posters, for example. There's so many people wanting to conserve and curate hip-hop history in a thoughtful uh, way and to present it as the, you know, with the importance that it deserves.